Every producer struggles with this question at least once. Lord knows that I have, but I finally did it. I finally caved in. I finally jumped ship and I bought Pigments by Arturia and we're making a new Jack Swing type beat with that in this video. Let's go. Beautiful folks, what is up? How are you doing? This is Valentine the Plug, and let me tell you why we're making some new Jack Swing today. But first, I want to introduce you to an artist called Go Go Morrow. This is Go Go Morrow, an up and coming RB artist, and she recently dropped her new EP called Ready. And the second song is New New, which is a new Jack Swing song produced by Teddy Riley and H Money, and it is simply amazing, and it is what inspired me to try and make some new Jack Swing. So that's why. Now, what I mostly love about that song is that it's a modern take on new Jack Swing. I, I just basically love anything that Teddy Riley makes. So that was reason for me to try and make some new jack swing with some modern drums But the first thing that we're gonna do is lay down some chords. So check out this chord progression right here So you were able to listen to the chord progression and you were probably able to hear that we're basing this around the 4-3-1-6 movement which is classic R&B and it's a chord progression that you should keep in your toolkit at all times if you're in a pinch. Now in terms of the techniques that I used, it mostly revolves around using passing chords and inversions and I like to spice things up by using dominant chords, by using diminished chords and by using augmented chords. Now these are all techniques and things that I suggest you keep in your repertoire so try and look it up or check out the videos that I made on this subject just to expand your knowledge on them. But chords aren't the only thing that we used in this beat. We actually did use a couple of melodies as well. So let's go and check those out too. So one thing that's super cool is the way that these melodies interact with each other. You can see that one has more of an ascending motion and the other one has a descending motion. I think that is really cool how they interact with each other and they really add a certain kind of character to the beat. I mean, you listen to the chord progression and you get kind of a very melancholic and bluesy vibe and then you mix it with the melodies which are more up-tempo. It really makes it R&B. So that allows us to proceed by adding some saxophone samples which I got off of Splice which really really make a complete sample. I love the layer of jazziness that it adds to the bluesiness and the happiness of the melody and the chords and that allowed me to just go ahead and stack up some layers and that completes the sample which now sounds like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold y'all, I probably will never give a shit about sound designing and even pigments, try as it might, will not get me into sound designing, but damn, even I gotta admit, the options are definitely there. However, for my first time using pigments, I just decided to look for a couple of presets that I thought that I could use, and these are the ones that I used, they're doing the job just amazingly well, let's go and break them down. For this sound ensemble, I wanted something that sounded more like modern R&B, I did do a couple of videos where I actually went back in time, and I used some classic sounds from the 80s and the 90s, for this one I really wanted to stick to some modern sound so that's exactly what I did. So we're going to be playing the sample again and this time I'm going to be adding an overview of the patches that each of the patterns are using. Now, in my humble opinion, Pigments has a lot of amazing presets that mostly all of them sound amazing right out of the box. But there's a little tweaking that you can do. If you really want to go under the hood, I would recommend get into sound design, really explore the plugin and see all of the endless possibilities that are there. Me personally, I just sent the shit to a mixer track and I unleash my own processing on it. Most prominently, I use Baby Audio Spaced Out to really get a wet and creative delay effix. I added some chorus. I added a little play by Sound Toys, which is easily my favorite reverb. And then I added some tape mellify here and there that's basically it now beautiful people this is new jack swing that we're talking about this is a new jack swing type beat so that means that our beat has a degree of swing in it now there's a couple of easy ways that you can introduce swing to your beat i mean there's that little 
knob or fader in the pattern or in FL Studio that you can slide up just to add a little bit more swing in your beat. You can manually try and move your, your kicks and your snares a little bit off beat just to add some element of swing. But my preferred way of adding swing to a new jack swing type beat is to just play with the rules in between. And that's exactly what I did. Now, if you're looking for inspiration on how to introduce rules into your new jack swing type beats to make them sound more authentic, you can listen to New New by Gogo Morrow, perfect example. You can listen to Finesse by Bruno Mars featuring Cardi B, the remix, also a perfect example. You can even go back in time and listen to Keith Sweat. You can listen to Guy, to Johnny Gill when he went solo, to New Edition, Bobby Brown, all of those good folks. You can listen to Poison by Bell Biff DeVoe, but you can also listen to the entirety of Dangerous by Michael Jackson, which is a 1010 New Jack Swing album, which has Bernard Bell and Teddy Riley on the production. Now, as for the actual drum sounds, most of it is just sounds that you've already heard in regular trap kits, so nothing special there. You don't need to have a special New Jack Swing type drum kit just for that, but there are two elements which I did get from a new Jack Swing drum kit, but we're getting to that after you're listening to the drum groove. So I was listening to the beat, I was feeling the beat, the beat sounded amazing, but it sounded a little bit too modern, a little bit too sterile. So what I did, I added some new Jack Swing authenticity to it by adding some toms right here, the energy toms, which is the sound that I got from a new Jack Swing drum kit. But I also went into one of the stock FL Studio packs and I got this hit right here, which you're about to hear in the preview right now. And that gets us to the end of the video, beautiful folks. Now, I'm definitely not going to go all into sound design, but I am going to take a look under the hood in Pigment to really get familiar with all the possibilities so that when I find a patch that needs tweaking, I'm perfectly capable of tweaking it to my liking. I also hope that you enjoyed this beautiful new Jack Swing type beat, folks. I hadn't thought of taking new Jack Swing and modernizing it in terms of the drums, but this shows that there's an endless sea of possibilities there. So I'm definitely going to be fucking around with that just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video, beautiful folks, and I hope to see y'all in the next. Y'all be easy. Peace.